My dear students, in the previous video, we solved, we solved some problems in the exercise 10.2 under the chapter straight lines. In this video also, I am going to continue the same exercise and the remaining problems in the exercise I am going to solve. The problems, you will refer the problems in your textbook. I didn't uh, explicitly writing the problem in, in the blackboard. I just state the problem, but you refer. The reference book you know, uh, Mathematics Textbook Mathematics Textbook for 11th Standard Students by explained by NCRT National Council of Educational Research and Training National Council of Educational Research and Training See, this is a prepared book for CBSC students So, from I am following this book only See, this is the prepared book for long term students those who are studying CBC syllabus and you refer this book, the problems you will see from this book the solutions only I am introducing in my video the just few problems you refer from the textbook and the same problems also you can find in the state board syllabus also therefore the state board students also can be benefited by, this, by seeing these videos Okay, next. Now, let me get into the video. That is, <coughs> problem 15 in the exercise 10.2. The perpendicular from the origin to the line meets at a point minus 2 comma 9 see this is the perpendicular from the origin to the line L meets the line at the point minus 2 comma 9 so the perpendicular from the origin meets the line at the point minus 2 comma 9 then you can find the equation of the line L. If it is the condition, find out the equation of the line L. That is the problem. See, <coughs> slope of the perpendicular from the origin line, slope of the perpendicular, slope of the perpendicular from the origin Two minus two comma nine. That is slope is y two minus y one, y minus nine minus zero, x two minus x one minus two minus zero. That is equal to minus nine by two. So slope of the perpendicular line is this. So what is the slope of the required line which is perpendicular to this origin line? The line drawn from the origin is perpendicular to the given line. Therefore, the required line, slope of the required line is perpendicular to the origin line. Therefore, slope of the required line L is negative reciprocal, minus 1 by L. That is equal to 2 by 9. And this is the negative reciprocal for the line L. For this perpendicular line, minus n by 2. So, slope of the required line is reciprocal of minus n by 2, negative reciprocal is 2 by 3. Therefore, the required line passes through the point minus 2 comma 9 also. Therefore, the equation of the required line, therefore, the equation of the required line is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. m is minus 1 by m. This is the slope. This slope you have to write. y minus y1 is 9. Not this m. 
this is the record flow for the line. Y minus y1 equal to m is 2 by 9 into x minus x1 is minus 2, that is plus 2. Minus or minus plus 2. So cross multiplying 9y minus 9 minus and 81 equal to 2x plus 2. Taking everything to the right hand side, 2x minus 9y. 2x minus 9y. Sorry, this is 2 to sub 4. 2 into x, 2x, 2 into 2, 4. So 2x minus 9y minus 81. If you bring it to the right hand side, plus 81 plus 4 is 85. Equal to 0. This is the equation of the record line. 2x minus 9y plus 85 equal to 0 is the required equation. Next, problem 16, In exercise, the temperature of a copper rod is a linear function in the length, the length L is a it is problem. L is the length of a copper rod. L is the length of a copper rod, which is a linear function in the copper rod. rod L is a linear function in Celsius temperature. C is the Celsius temperature. It's a linear function. The relation between L and C is a linear function that is the equation of the straight line. And it is given as if L is if L equal to 124.942 C is 20 degrees Celsius. And if L is 125.134, C is 120 degrees. So find out the equation, relation between L and C. That is the problem. You write this point as x1, y1. x1 is 20, y1 is 124.192, first two points. The second point is 110 comma 125.134. You consider this as x1 y1 x2 y2. Using this point and we have to find out the relation between L and C. The relation between L and C is, is a line. Relation between L and C. Relation between L and C is y minus y1. y1 you can see that this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2. y minus y1 is 124.192 equal to m slope. m is y2 minus y1 y2 125.134 minus y2 minus y1 is 124.192 by x2 minus x1 110 minus 20 into x minus x1 is 124 y minus y1 x minus x1 is 20 y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So m is slope, slope of the point, line joining two points, that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1, that is y minus 194.124.192 equal to 
attacking point one nine two by ninety and then this into x minus twenty. You take this minus one twenty four point one nine two on the right hand side that is the required equation y equal to zero point one nine two subtraction of these two is one nine two by ninety into x minus twenty is minus one twenty four. You bring it to the right hand side. It is plus one twenty four point one nine two. This is the required equation between the length of the rod and the temperature of the rod. L and C. This is the required answer. You just simplify it. You will get. It is the relation between L and C. This is problem sixteen. Similarly, a problem seventeen is that you know, uh, the same idea is to be followed in that. Next to problem seventeen, you try to solve, and I am going to solve the eighteen sum now. Seventeen, the same idea is to be adopted for solving seventeen. Next to problem eighteen is. Is 
from the expression y intercept is 2b. So the equation of intercept form, therefore the equation of a b is equation of the line a b is x by a, a is 2a plus y by b, b is 2b equal to 1. Taking two common, x by a plus y by b equal to 1. If you take 1 by 2, it's a common term, you will get. And you multiply the left hand side 1 by 2 to the right hand side becomes x by a. Therefore, x by a plus y by b equal to 2 into 1 is 2. This is the required answer. We prove. That's all about problem 18. Next, one more problem. 19th problem is the same idea. This is 18. We derived the intercepted line is x by a plus w b equal to 2. Now we will pass on to the problem number 19. It is also an intercepted idea, same idea. It is used in the problem 19 also. Problem 19 says that if h comma k h comma k is a point divide the intercepted line with the coordinate axis in the ratio 1 is to 2 h comma k divides the line a b in the ratio 1 is to 2. Uh, this is 1 and this is 2. This 1 part, this is 2 part. Equation come up is a point to divided the line a up in the ratio 1 is to 2. If it is a x intercept is a, so y intercept is b, the point is a comma 0 and this is 0 comma b, the coordinates of the point a and b are given and the point h comma k divides the point may be you call it as p, p divides a b in the ratio h comma k, p h comma k divides the line a b in the ratio 1 is 2, therefore the coordinates of the point p, coordinates of p by section formula 1 into 0, 1 into 0 plus 2 into a by 1 plus 2 is the coordinate on the point p. Y coordinate 1 into y b plus 2 into 0 by 1 plus 2 is the y coordinate. Lx2 plus mx1 by L plus m. Ly2 plus my1 by L plus m. Section formula is a line. X comma A line is divided by in the ratio L is m. The coordinates of point P is Lx2 plus Mx1 by L plus M and Ly2 plus My1 by L plus M is the section formula studied already. Therefore, using that 1 into 0 plus 2 into A divided by 1 plus 2. 1 into B plus 2 into 0 by 1 plus 2. This is the coordinates of point P that is 1 into 0, zero 2 into A is 2A by 3. This is B by 2 into 0, 0 B by 3. This is the point P. And it is given as x comma k in the book. In the problem it is given as x comma k. Therefore 2a by 3 equal to h. Then a equal to what is that? a equal to 3h by 3h by 2. a equal to 3 by 2. Similarly, 
b by 3 equal to k b equal to 3k using this a and b we are going to find out the equation therefore the equation of a b line a b is equation of the line a b x by a plus y by b equal to 1 in the third form x by a a is 3x by 2 that is x by 3x by 2 plus y by b is 3k equal to 1. These two denominator denominator becomes numerator 2x by 3h plus y by 3k equal to 1. This is taking 3 common and you take kh as LCM that is 2xk, 2kx plus hy equal to 1. This is hy plus this is 2kx and you bring this kh, 3kx to the right, right hand side 2kx plus hy equal to 3kh. This is the equation of the line AB. 2kx, 2kx plus hy equal to 3kh. This is the equation of the line AB. That's all about the problem. Okay. This is the required line. This is problem 19. If you want to bring this 3k to the left hand side, it is 2kx plus hy minus 3kh equal to 0 also you can write. You can simplify if you want to bring this 3k to the left hand side. And that's all about the exercise. That's all about the chapter. In the second exercise, 10.2 is over in the chapter. Next idea we will see in the next video. Thank you.